Oh, you just fired on me. It's fine. It's fine. Hello. Good morning. It feels weird acting like it's a Monday when it, well, it is a Monday when it feels like it's a Sunday. Bank holiday Monday. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do today. Jake's busy. Jake's busy. So, I don't know, I kind of fancy just eating something nice like a fish finger sandwich and eating my easter egg in bed and editing stuff yeah i think i will i hope people are home i don't want to be lonely today oh cheddar cheddar Someone's gonna come down from space. I haven't really done fucking much today. I've just posted things. No, nah, it's alright, because that is my job. <laughs> but it's been pretty relaxed. I've been eating a lot of chocolate. It's alright, it's alright, it's Easter, it's fine. So everyone does on bank holiday Easter, whatever it's called. I spent a nice amount of time getting ready for the gym. Feel clean, I feel refreshed. Um, yeah, I feel keen to go. It's crazy because you don't go to the gym for ages. The first time back, dread. Complete dread. But if you just go a few times, you actually want to go. I don't know. I don't know the science. But I like when I'm at this point when I'm keen to go. It's nice. And it feels like you're doing something good. You just got to not let it slip away. I hate this fucking thing jiggling all the time. I always feel like I can't be um, clean girl aesthetic as well with this hair. But do you know what? I think I've managed it. Just the scrape back, which I don't normally do because it's very hard to do with bottoms. But it's not perfect, but it'll do. I've got my new gym set on because Millie was wearing it. So I bought it in three colours because it looks so good on her. And it turns out it was Millie that looked good. It wasn't the set. It's, I thought it was one of them sets where it's like... It sucks you into place and it's just really thick and tight. Um, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite stretchy. It's not as like tight as I thought it would be. Uh, but it's all right, it still looks nice, it still looks nice. And I've, I've passed the return date anyway. So it's gonna have to look nice. So good when you enjoy it. So good when you enjoy it. I hope it carries on. Thing is, though, I ate so bad today that that gym session didn't even count. Well, technically it did, because if I didn't go to the gym, then... And it's good for... It's not just about losing weight, it's about the mental health. Um, it just makes you feel great, doesn't it? I should eat a little bit better tomorrow, though. What I ate today, I had a fish finger sandwich, I had two potato waffles, I had half my Easter egg, and I had a ripple. <laughs> and I'm gonna... It's fucking Easter. I'm gonna... Go home now, Jake's made some sort of chicken and rice. I should probably just not have any chocolate after tea because let's be honest, I've had my chocolate intake for the day. What is this, Harissa, Harissa chicken? God. There is chicken in there somewhere. It looks like cat's it, but it, it tastes nice. What do you fucking mean, Titanic 2? <laughs> Three stars. Titanic 2, what are they gonna do? Pull it back out? Fuck's sake, man. The Lord didn't die for this. Can I just confirm, Jake's eating most of that. I haven't eaten all that myself. That's a lie. <laughs> you are you laid into that this morning. We're watching Almost Famous. Don't actually even know, I just, we just went on it and it had Kate Hudson in it and we've not watched it before and I like Kate Hudson. Morning. It's a miserable day, but I can tell it's one of them where there's gonna be a blue sky in about an hour. Um, I need to drop Jake off at the, what's it called, the garage, taking his car in, and then I'm going to Cheshire Oaks with my mum today, we've been meaning to do this for a while, so yeah, it's a nice day, but I do need to send off my accounts ASAP when I get in, because this week is the week, 
I'm glad it's like finally the Monday kind of feeling. <laughs> I, I love obviously bank holiday, great, a day off, but I'd rather it be on the Thursday. Can we have Thursday and Friday off instead of the Monday? I like my Monday to be fresh, like a nice new week. Anyway, yeah, so end of tax year. End of the tax year is Friday, 5th of April. And then ooh, hopefully my accountant can get it done ASAP and we can move forward with the house. I just want to move forward with the bloody house. We're taking the schnauzer this time, aren't we, Mum? Yeah. So we went last time and was very upset because we left him at home and there was all the dogs there. They didn't realise you could take dogs. There's all the doggy signs on the windows. Can't take them in food places, so um, we'll try. We'll try. Sit outside. He can, he can. He's got his bed in the car. He can stay in the car for a little bit. You okay, little man? Pissed off because his walk was cut short. But little does he know, he's going. He's going shopping. Schnauzer. Gotta go in the Yankee Candle shop. Although I have a theory that they put these in air reduced because they don't have very strong smells. I could be wrong, but. I could be wrong. This is what I like to call adult shopping. Ceramic, bacon, beans, lovely stuff. Oh, they're actually really cute scales. I ah, wanna have them like. I was hoping they'd do these free samples again. That's the only reason I came in. So good. What is it, Witted? Witted. Came in for about four last time we went. Now it's great hot chocolate. Oh, isn't it good? That is nice hot chocolate. Oh, they're making some more samples for us. We're, don't, we're gonna try the sticky toffee pudding one and the salty caramel. Claire's actually gonna buy some. Suits me as long as I'm not paying for it anyway. It's seven pound per tub. It is nice though, it is lovely. Bloody, and bloody good job you tried it. That salty caramel one's in there. And the, um, the sticky toffee was a bit, bit too sweet. No, it's nice. It's just the hot chocolate one's the best. Look at my hair, I look like I've been dragged for edge. Cast away if it was a shoe. What the bloody hell is that? I actually like these, like, they're a bit out there, but like for a snow holiday, I think they're pretty cool. I don't wear them otherwise, but, oh, they might be dirty. Yeah, they're well dirty, but baby yellow Uggs, they're so cute. If you had enough money to just have them, you know, for one outfit, and it was just, oh, my bag matches my shoes this one time, but I probably wouldn't buy them otherwise. Pale yellow Uggs. Bloody McDonald's crap. Last time we're bringing this bloody dog. We've had to come to McDonald's because we couldn't get him pizza express. Claire's cup of tea dripping. <laughs> dripping everywhere. <laughs> oh, because of you, you little shit. These are so nice. I love them. If I had green hair, I might mark my words. Did we buy, you ask, two pots of hot chocolate three candles a pair of shorts for a run that i'll probably never go on love you to bitch schnauzer i do but i wish that we didn't bring you <laughs> the main bit of excitement was that we get to go to pizza express we use the the tesco club card vouchers and we go to pizza express it's one of our favorites couldn't obviously we knew we couldn't go in but we thought we could sit outside the out outdoor seating was shut off it was closed today for some reason, although all the other ones were open. So we had to go to the McDonald's, which was naff. And then he just wanted to smell everything, everything. And we, everything. And I know he's, I know he's slow, I didn't expect him to be fast, but even in the shops, he just wanted to leave. He didn't like the shops. He just wanted to go outside and smell things. I love you, but I won't bring you again. Today was a pain in the ass. And all we got is hot chocolate, candles, and a pair of shorts. Hope you're having a good sleep, mate, because you ruined our day. You ruined our day, didn't you, Mum? Yeah. You pissed us off, babe. Yeah, you pissed us off. Oh, and he's fast asleep now. Yeah. Like your well, mom. revolves around you. He's got me an Easter egg. My mum's got me an Easter egg. Come on, where is it? I thought I was too old for an egg now. Is that not yeah, true? Yeah. I would. Yeah, I'm, 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 I've got my eyes shut. Is it? I'm, I'm assuming it's this big. No, it's smaller than that. Keep, keep it coming in. Keep it coming oh, in. Oh, mum, I don't want it if it's any smaller than that. Oh, is it? Mm. I think it. Oh, I have no idea. If, there's no indentation. 
There's no scent. So just look. Kick up this stuff. Do look your stuff. Thank you. <laughs> These are my new gym shorts. Do you like them? These are what I got today. Do you know what's sad? I'm actually so chuffed about these. Well, I wanted some just Nike running running shorts. That day, when that day comes, I actually do go for my first run. I wanted some for ages, but I just don't like paying postage. So that's why I wanted to get them from in the store. But I just thought, when the hell am I going to go to a Nike store? So that's why I'm so happy with them because I didn't have to pay postage. And because they were from Cheshire Oak, so they were only 20, 23 pound. Um, and the nice thing short, you just, I find it weird because these are men's shorts. So usually they would be, because I'm five foot two, so I didn't want shorts that were, you know, a little bit too long. Why are these men's and they fit me perfectly? What man is wearing these? Anyway, they're the perfect fit. Nice and breathable. They've got, oh, they've got installed knickers somewhere in there. Check me out. Don't know what that even means, like why there's installed knickers, but it's got them. And they match my, it's good, because I like baggy here, and then I don't mind tight on top. So it's perfect. This is the perfect gym set for me. Sick. Look at this guy. What the fuck is he doing? I thought it was a hedgehog. Oh, seriously, man. You're gonna get yourself killed, brother. You're gonna get his, oh my God. It's a couple. Please do not shag my hand, but you need to get out of the way. Honestly. Save yourselves. These young couples these days, they've got no fucking idea the dangers of life. CN Tower in 27 minutes. Two persons <laughs> Look at Annika Bum. I'm having some airplane ready meal for tea. It just <laughs> the rice just flopped out the packet like that. I kinda like it though. Bit gourmet, bit shit. It's Thai by the way, it's not like bogey soup. Oh, I enjoyed that. It was very long. How long was it? It was nearly three hours long, that's mad. Almost famous. It was good though. I don't think it needed to be that long though. Morning! I had a sneaky lion. Whoops, it's Half ten now. That's fine, that's fine. Just kept snoozing my alarm. Then after a bit, the alarm tone was even sending me off. Uh, right, I'm going to the gym because I'm enjoying it. So I'm taking advantage of the fact that I'm enjoying it. Good music, finding some good music that you like to listen to really helps. Motivating music. This one, I have my most motivational thoughts in the gym. Yeah. Like not, not about fitness, like about everything. About makeup, about fitness, about life. So I'm gonna go to the gym and then I'm getting my hair done today. And then we want to, I'm just gonna do cardio today because my bum hurts, my arms hurt. <laughs> These better be right. They better be right. Mm, yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, I think I did that right. Yeah. <laughs> Sound like Mona. Yeah. I like my hair appointment because I can always go looking like shit because it benefits my... I always do a video when I go to my hair appointment. It benefits the video. Always good to have a dramatic chance. Well, it won't be that dramatic, but dramatic transformation look a little bit shitty at the start of the video and then you'll just look miles better at the end i don't know why people love the hair videos i like filming them but more than anything i like that i can just go to my appointment hair screwed in a ball not give a shit I'd probably the other one. my hair's done lovely but fuck me i need a new accountant i need a new accountant so bad like bless him, he's he's sweet, he's a great accountant, but I need, a, he's, he's quite old, I don't know how old he is. And when I first started, I didn't know, I didn't know anything about an accountant or what I need or things about tax. 
paying tax, I didn't know anything. So my friend, my mum just said, oh, well, my hairdresser's got this great accountant. Um, she says he's great, we'll go with him. And I'm just thinking, right, accountant, great. Obviously, hairdressing's a job that's been around years. It's pretty basic account accountant work. This job, influencing, or whatever you want to call it, is such a new job with so many, like, niggly things, like, do you expense this? Do you not expense this? Like, nail appointments, hair appointments, it's like, where do we stand there? Because it is work, like, I'll, it's technically work, but it's also life, and then there's so many little bits that I feel like you would need, I need someone, basically, I just need someone that is up to date with this stuff, and the sorry speed bumps just up to date and relatively aware of the job i've just been on the phone to my accountant for 40 minutes trying to explain certain stuff and especially why the trip to lapland was a, was a work trip it took so long you just couldn't it was like i just don't understand if this wasn't a job you were getting paid for why it's work and i, I couldn't even get the work i'm like I don't know, I just didn't know how to, no matter what I said, I was like, because it's a content trip and the job that I do is to get content and it just, we were just both on completely different pages. Like, he's like, well, so where's the work coming to? And I'm like, it is the work, the job is the work. I didn't go with family, I didn't go with friends, like, I went with girls I didn't even know because they're either models or doing the same job as me oh it's just so hard to explain certain things i need someone that's up to date and i need like an influencer specialist one or something i always say this to lucy and she's like you don't need the influencer specialist one money's money i'm like you fucking do because there's so many gray areas in this job surrounding tax and whatever i need the help so yeah i'm really hoping i can get the tax done soon and there's no more questions because that was just painful painful 40 minute phone call do you know what as well he has me second guessing whether this is a work trip or not and it, it was a work trip you know i was getting up i was with people no, that you know it's nice to be with people you don't know it's great but if it wasn't a work trip i would have gone with my friends i would have got my family i would have been not videoing every single second of my day taking pictures every single second of my day freezing my tits off just to get pictures taking my clothes off in like minus 10 degree probably more than that temperatures it was a job see now i'm just like was it a job was it a job? it is a job it's so hard it's placing things is it work is it not it is work but it's also fun it's just a fun job so it doesn't seem like work but it's work we've come to pizza express today because carter, carter ruined it yesterday and we still really wanted to come so we've come this is our favorite no one does calamari like pizza express even if it's frozen shit it's good nice nice i always get the same thing every single time honey home cream slide i'm actually so full but you're gonna eat it all out you want oh do you know what i think i put on 10 pound tip instead of one one pound no you didn't you, you wouldn't have liked that would you no you'd have gone ballistic no. wouldn't you well that's what i did that's why i cancelled it i had to help her she's getting old now you see you have to put in the, the number the digits and the car machine it's quite she difficult. goes What's he say? What's he say? <laughs> half six. Does this look like the face of a girl who wants to be up at half six? Fucking going to an event, Lucy. Who does an event that starts at what time does it start? Half nine. Do you know what time? I have to get up to be in town by half nine. This is not a time I want to be awake. I'm gonna go home. And then put the car on charge for a start and then I was gonna have enough time and then blah blah and they saw my outfits and then we're going to another uh, another event at like seven ish so it's not worth me going home so I'm just gonna stay at Lucy's all day so they saw my outfit so I need to know what I'm wearing I need to be ready I need to have makeup for later on I'm not happy as well because I'm supposed to be going to uh, you know Sophie T, the artist. She's doing a live nude show. So if you don't know her, she does. Well, she just amazing art. You should search it. But she does this uh, collection, should we call it? I don't know. The series where she 
people send in their nudes and she paints them and they're so cool and colourful and they're sick. She's doing a live paint like live show of doing painting nudes. And I was supposed to be going with Amy but the fucking rail strikes. So I can't get to London. I could get a coach but it's five and a half hours and you know what? I'm stressed with sorting this accounting thing out. And tomorrow's the last day of the tax year and I'm just thinking my accountant needs me. And I already feel stressed and I can't can I be asked going all the way to London with rail strikes going on. I'll probably get stuck there. I always fucking do. So I'm just not going, but I'm good because I really wanted to go. But there'll be other shows and it, it's better to just not be stressed because the house is more important to me. So any help I can do to get that sorted, I'd rather do and not get stuck in London for the sake of what a two hour show. I ask for, I ask for a chewing gum and what is that? Looks like a rat's been at it. It really looks bad. I don't ever <laughs> see you do things like that. It's obviously not. Hello, mate. I'm brown. Here we go. I hope there's some sort of croissants with the bakery theme because I'm hungry. Wow. It smells exactly like I wanted it to. And apparently they've made pastries for each brand. Oh, oh my God. I literally want them all. This is the whole reason I came because I knew that it was going to be sold, you know, sold. So did you know stuff here? The new scent in the body butter, lovely stuff. I love the big boy one. I've never had a big boy one. I've only ever, oh, shit. I'm wrecking the display. Oh, this is where the magic's made. It's finally time to feed, but it all looks so good. Like what, what the fuck is Basque? I want it. Oh my God, croissant butter blondie. Oh my God, this bit of me. Oh my god, no. Oh, fuck's sake. I want to try it all. Do me some tapas, but I also want a croissant because it's early morning. Oh, it's cute. I hate when they do stuff like this because then I don't want to drink it. It's too cute to drink. It turns out the uh, double chocolate cookie, it's not, it's not one of the beauty bay options. You have to get a beauty bay option. So they have like food inspired by the product. So this is a oat, what was it? Oat cleansing balm cookie. It's, a, it's an oat, what is it? Oat, oat and coconut cookie, so that's what I've come from. It's a huge side, isn't it? What do they call it now? An oat cleansing mom cookie? No. There's a big dirty black hair on it. I'm trying. Yes. It's really nice. It tastes like niece biscuit from, um, I think they call them niece biscuits. Nice biscuit. I think they call them niece biscuits. Wow. Really nice. I've never, had, I've never had oats before in my life. Maybe I'll make Well, not that I've known of. I've cashed out. I've cashed out. Well, I've not cashed out yet. I've won a free full size product. Massive, massive thank you um, to all of you for coming and supporting us um, at Beauty Bakery. Uh, this is our first um, sort of like pop up takeover event that we've done since pre COVID. Oh, <laughs> so beautiful. <laughs> Look at the goodie. Hang on, let me take my meal deal out of there. Look at the goodie bag. Love that! Because brands always give away uh, tote bags, but this one's... What is this? Woven. Don't, don't know what it is. I think it's fantastic. That is lovely. And we've got a big whopper! Buzzing about that. Focus, you fuck. Whatever. Buzzing about that. What did we get? Cleansing balm. Inky list. Hyaluronic acid. Facial serum. Glow hub. I got two of them because I won one with my drink. And a, how do you say it, Laneige Bounce and Firm Sleeping Mask. Guess who? So nice of you to come and sit with me. <laughs> you make, oh, you just fired on me. You make a racket, don't you? Yeah? How's your digestive tract doing? I can hear it doing all its work. I don't know what the fuck you've been eating, but it stinks. Just been sat here for hours with, with Maggie. With Magmans, I've been telling you off. Put this heated blanket on me though, and it's been too hard to get up. But I've got to get up and get ready for the next event now. Lucy's so lucky. Look at this. This is her studio space. She's got all this. She's got a little 
nice corner. It's just such an icon, the exposed brick, the light, natural light. It's just such a nice space, even when I move out. If we get the house. I am going to be working in a pretty small space, but I'm sacrificing it because I love the area and I like the house. But this, I wish I had something like this. This is great. To say I'm going to be spending all my time in there. Let's be honest, I spend all my time in bed. Hey, my butt! Yeah. Ready! I did not intend on wearing this, but the first outfit, I looked I not that. good. Not good. I, I bought this for, I was going to say USA. I bought this for New York, but never ended up wearing it. Yeah. This top is mega tight. It's not mega, it don't feel mega tight, but because of the buttons, I look like I'm busting out of it. But the, the size up was too big, you see? Charles. No, it's all right. They don't care. Right, so we're going to an event at Menagerie now for... House of Vanities. House of Re Vanities rebrand. Yeah. Uh, I really hope there's food because I'm a greedy bitch, but also I just really want some food. And me and Chloe were talking the other day about the duck croquets that they do at Menagerie. It was just so good. When you think of duck croquets, I would have thought it would have been like potato with some duck in it. It's just like full shredded duck, but it's a bit hoisiny. And then just, oh, it's a big I old croquet of duck. Oh my God, I hope this doesn't let you down now. We have one and you're like that now. No, as it. So I'm starving for them. So if they don't do food, I'm just gonna order them anyway. Cause Oh yes, there she is. Fuck me, I could eat all that in one bite and that's with two people. I need more than three. We didn't have enough food, we had to get dessert. <laughs> I got a cookie pie and this young lady's got ice cream with turd on top, by the looks of it. This better be like cookie dough, I don't want any bullshit. That was <laughs> not a cookie dough dessert that was fucking Raining. bullshit that was a glorified cake it, no not even glorified it was a and piece of, piece the of shit the caramel sauce you had to like melt down with your tongue you had to suck it, it off in your mouth it was just <laughs> shit so. we wanted at least six of them duck croquets three for 11 pounds she shared with me though <sighs> yeah, i know i did i didn't want to, to but i felt bad <laughs> <laughs> i was being courteous even though I didn't want to. Oh, no, I wonder if I can make them myself. Oh fuck, this is a big cuddle. <laughs> Mate, this is what it means to be organized. Having your onesie in your seat, you can't seat next to you so you can just get changed and drive home. I've got a top on, <gasps> barely happy. Oh, so cozy now, I'm not cold and I'm driving home, I'm just happy. Travel in style, or don't travel at all. <laughs> Gotta look like shit, like I've been out on the lash. Delivery. So what have we got? Hot diamonds. Got some hot diamonds gifted. I've never had anything from here before, but I love my jewellery, so I've been very excited to receive this. Comes in a little bag. Oh, and then you get like a spare bag. Okay. So I've got these little red studs. I thought that'd be cool because they're kind of big. And I, I want more big things in my ear now. I don't know. I change my mind every week. And then a ring, but I had to guess the ring size. And it's the same thing, little heart. Love a good ring, but I really hope I've got this size right. I don't know which. Oh, that fits perfectly on my middle finger, actually. Love a ring. Does it fit on this one? Oh, it fits on this one as well. Great. Oh, no, that's great. Oh, I'm going to put the earrings in now. But which earrings shall I swap them for? I don't know. My heart says this one, but these are my most expensive ones. These are solid gold, these ones. Oh, God. This doesn't really work, but... I couldn't bear to take that one out. We'll revisit it. We'll revisit it because they're hanging off the end there. But they've got matching hoops as well. So I want to get the matching hoops. So it's like heart and then hoops. Maybe they should go up there. Well, they're too big for up there. We'll revisit it. Good morning. It's the end of the fucking tax year. Merry end. Wait. Yeah. Well, after today. It's the end of the tax year. My God. So I'm praying my accountant gets shit together. ASAP so I can get my own little nest. Right. I've been a bit lazy this morning. It's like half ten. But you know what? I've enjoyed myself. I've been scrolling like an idiot. I need to do some makeup today. I need to start doing some creative makeup again. Because that is just the way I succeed. And whether I like it or not, my engagement is down. And what I'm posting at the minute is not working. So it doesn't matter what you like, Jenna. It's about what everyone else wants to see. So, I'm going to have to start 
torturing myself again and doing something creative. It's fine. It's fine. I need to tidy my room first. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at that haircut. Are you had a lovely haircut. Wow, you've been so busy this morning, haven't you, Mr. Smallbeard? <laughs> okay, well, I didn't do any of the stuff that I said I was going to do. Well, I didn't do the makeup that I said I was going to do. I just ended up tidying everything up. I needed a big tidy up. And I forgot my own rule. The, the, it not being tidy stresses me out, so I had to tidy it all up. So now I've had to delay the makeup. But do you know what it needed doing? Because I, I couldn't have done it. With the stress, I couldn't have done it with the mess. Tidy room, tidy mind. We will move forward with makeup on another day. Now, I will do some makeup now because I want to finish this ASOS video that I was filming. Just light makeup, chilled makeup. And then, oh God, I keep putting more stuff, more home stuff upstairs. I had to put, you know, that big box of pasta that Jake got me for my birthday? Because all year I was like, oh, I just want fun pasta, I want fun pasta. So he got me all this great pasta for my birthday. And we only make it when we make like a special dish or something. Jake's dad got his fat little mitts in the box and made some crappy pasta with it. One of my, he was like, I didn't know. So I've had to move the box of the fancy pasta to my house and then it'll be waiting for when me and Jake move out. There's so much home stuff up there right now. I can't go home shopping ever again because I'm gonna have too much stuff for a house. I'm gonna have too much stuff for a house. I need to calm down because I might not even have a house. I got the ASOS videos done and I've got a nice tiny room. So I didn't get the things that I did want to done, but it's fine because I got something done. Me and Jake now, we're having a takeaway, right? And it's, <laughs> we've been influenced. We saw it in our friend's story the other day and it honestly looked so shit, but it looked, you know, one of those takeaways that looks shit, but like, that looks shit, but it looks so good. So it's a naan, what's it got it? Donna meat, then chips, and then curry sauce on top. <laughs> it looks so good. We've both been thinking about it ever since. I don't think it was supposed to influence this many people, but we, we want exactly, I've never even had anything like that. I've never had that layout before and I want it. We're craving it. Turns out I didn't screenshot the takeaway, but it's not exactly hard to... It's not hard to imagine, is it? <laughs> it's not hard to recreate. So you'll, you'll see what it's going to look like. It's going to look like shit. Who gets chips from a takeaway? It's not something we normally do. But I'm excited for it. It's like someone's eating it and throwing it all. <laughs> it's nice. It tastes like it as well. We're done. It... <laughs> no, I didn't mind mine. I don't really like a kebab. I wouldn't have it again. But... No, no, it was, it was alright. We're going to watch this scoop. Morning. I just love these pyjamas so much. They're so cute. Love them. I... We need to go to the gym now. Jake's just going to get a haircut whilst I lay in bed editing. Then we went to the gym. Now I don't know what. But I'm excited to go to the gym because I like it. I know I said I like it, but I can't actually be asked. The CN Tower is really hard. Not being funny, but I am massive. I am. <laughs> My dear friend Mildred wants to do something. I've not seen her in quite some time. But she's not fucking replying at the same time, so... I might just go home, get ready. And then see what happens. Then I'm going to make a nice tea with Jake later. And that's as interesting as my life gets. I, that's just what I like to do. Night, I'm just a night in girl. Millie's not fucking answering, so I'm having a, I'm having a self care day. Fuck it. I want to smell nice. Um, look at this. No, I love my plants. And this plant, it was so, I'll insert an image, it was so dead. And I've brought it back to life. And look, I just spotted this. It makes me so excited got a whole new branch growing there and that little point that's another one so it's going to be two big heads like this again and then i've got the ones at the bottom this guy is still growing back he's growing back very slow to be fair but there's a lot of new shoots there this one hates its life this one wants to die i've dropped this twice so it used to have huge leaves but now it's just pathetic 
The problem is, I've only got one fucking room, so I can't cater to all the lighting needs. So when I have a house, it'll be better because I can spread them about the house and they can, I can put them in the light that you need. Like this one is enjoying its life over here. I've got a nice big new leaf. Look at that. Hello. That is a healthy fucking leaf. But yeah, I love my plants. I feel good. I feel ripped. I feel like I want to eat some protein. I have scrubbed myself into oblivion. Oh my God, my face feels raw. My body feels, I feel raw. Got a lovely little parcel from Soap and Glory. I really should do a start doing full faces of um, certain brands. Full face of Soap and Glory. No, I'll do it. I'll do it. I've just made an insane discovery. Grizzo has got horns under his hat. Why would they put horns under his hat? Like, unless he's growing. They're just tucked away underneath there. So he's got horns and ears. <laughs> He's so cheeky, look at that face. That is the face of cheek. We got a bloody takeaway again. This is your fault. Good morning. Oh God, I'm exceptionally pale. Jake's trying to talk me into five guys. For vagalies. That will be the third bad meal that we've had this weekend. I just said what you're looking for because he's looking so intensely at these. I thought there's no way you've got any interest in these. He's looking for eyes so he can write piss. <laughs> you are such a little yeah, shit. <laughs> there must be an eye. No. This is an outrage. There's no vowels. They're onto us. There is a vowel. There's E. What can we spell that's despicable with an E? Anyway, look at this. What we've got. A giraffe bars. That is so cool. I love it. Is it shit? I don't even know. I think it might be shit, but I still love it. There's quite a lot of weird stuff. Like, that's really creepy. <gasps> Stop it. Oh my God, what is it? Is it a candle? <gasps> so cute. Oh my God. That's cute, do you know what I think? What is it? We've been sensible. We've made the executive decision to just have dinner at home. And we're gonna make some nice and do your pasta. And we're making cookies with this lint egg that Jake got me because I don't eat lint chocolate, so. I'm going to make it into an egg. Jake seems to think that there is not <laughs> there is not 100 gram worth of chocolate in that egg. Oh, don't look, because it's going to ruin it. This is 100 grams of milk chocolate. Um, but, but what? Chips? And you think that there is not that equivalent in that egg. I'm going to do it. Don't get off. This wasn't actually how I was going to do it, but... Fucking idiot. You an idiot. Right. <laughs> what are you thinking? Mm. Started off well and then they just stopped rolling properly towards the end. The only thing I've done, well, we've done differently is that there's no cocoa powder in these. We didn't want them to be double chocolate this time. I don't know. <laughs> Things are gonna work out. They look okay i only put them in nine minutes so they'd be extra gooey they are very 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 gooey yeah boy this is so naughty i'm not cooled down properly yet so i'm eating with a spoon really nice i just hope they stay gooey i think they will you have to do that youtuber thing where you put your hand behind it so you can focus Tea was not nice. It was not nice. It was really like bitter. I don't know what happened with that, but it was not nice. <laughs> I only had a bit of it. And I think the coloured pasta, I think the coloured pasta can sometimes have a taste. I just, I just didn't like it. I left a lot of it. Cookies are really nice though. I've told Jake to go and get me a cookie. And he's putting me some warm milk in my, in my, my baby cup. Don't know about my baby cup or my baby ball. I just really missed my baby ball, so I made Jake get me a baby ball. Maybe like, was it last year? Was it no, not my birthday this year, that last year, but the year before. Just so nostalgic. I just always loved my baby ball, and it's just I don't know why. It's something that I'll just never want to give up, I suppose. So, to be fair, I've actually not drank out of it for like a year, but. I just like my warm milk in a bottle sometimes. 
I just want to be four again. I remember my mum had to get it just right. I was like, don't get it too hot, don't get it too cold. I went just right. I was like, bloody Goldilocks. One milk cookie. We're going to watch a horror film. And that's it. It's the end of another week. Thank God I have not smashed it this week. I've had a pathetic... Do you know what? I've done all right with the gym though, so that's fine. I hope everyone's had a gorgeous week and I'll see you next week. I'm actually going to get some shit done next week. I need to. <sighs> Thank you. Thanks. Two. One for you. Thanks. I wasn't...